Well, I, I think the great thing about this film, some people have been talking and we said it's very Asian. It's very Asian in, in a working method, but it's a little bit Western in the way you can approach it because it, there's something familiar about um, the city that we, I think we found through this, just finding the city. We talked about the character, the characters come from different places, they came from different um, um, states of mind. And I came from a different place. I've never made a Thai film before. So it, to me, it was quite interesting to find this, this what, was the, what was the base. And the base, for me, of course, is color. But that color has to be based in a reality. And the reality, because otherwise, um, you know, we don't have $500 million to change the color of everything or to do digital something. So if it's not there, it's not going to be on the film. So I think what you do is you look at the city. The city is a very important part of the film and the countryside is a very important part of the film. I think the great thing is that honestly I've never slept with an actress uh, because you don't need to. I, if, I don't know, I, believe it or not, I feel shy about actresses. I feel, I feel that their beauty is something that, that we should celebrate, that we should share. Um, but I'm the closest person to an actor, like, like you now. That what happens is that, like a love relationship, the, the cameraman must make an actress feel loved. You must have trust, you must share something. Because the only, the closest person to the actress, like just now to me, this is, you are the closest person, the cameraman. You know, if you don't feel trust, if you don't feel loved, then you cannot give. If you don't give, it won't go into the camera and out onto the screen and touch other people. So it's a very, basically there's only three people in, in a movie. It's the actor, the cameraman, and the audience. So we're just a way to get there. So the only way it can get through to people, to be shared and to be appreciated by people, and that you can feel, feel is that I must love this person like nobody has ever, ever loved them. And that must be projected through the camera, through, through me partly, to the, to the audience. You feel this incredible balance between feeling very familiar with something and yet sometimes having a slightly different angle to see it. You see it. And I, I think, I don't want to call myself an artist, but an artist goes like this. It means you go up close to paint and you step back and look at what you, you're, you're doing. And I think that balance is what, what we should be making. And I think I happen to live that way, that I'm, I'm not studying Asian culture, I'm living it. And yet, I grew up in a Western, well, Australia, I don't know if it's Western or not. Anyway, I grew up, I grew up with white people. <laughs> so so you, you, I think that you, you're always, you know, um, like you say, uh, dancing with this, this quality of life. You're always dancing with the possibilities of, and you're always looking for another partner. You have to find the film, not make the film. And that's very different from a Western idea. You have to find the film. The film is there somewhere, in your heart, or in the words, or in the space you're working in, or the colors, or, or the environment, or you know the amount of money you have. It's there somewhere. But it's not something you can just say, oh, this will be the film. You have to work very hard to find it. The worst thing about an artist is to, to get complacent, to think that what you've done is who you are. No, it never is. What you do next is who you are. What you do next is what takes you somewhere better. What you do next is something that you'll discover. Otherwise, if you sit back and say, do you know how many awards I have? And, you know, then you're fucked. I don't know, I guess I'm very lonely. <laughs> uh, you know, I think you have to look at it.